Hi everyone, Jonathan here from the Fourth Rivers Trust. I am down on the River Ammond catchment this morning, um, checking on our smoke trap. Recently we uh, have deployed a smoke trap into the Union Canal feeder lades. So as you can see here, this is the feeder lades, and that's the Ammonds just there. And some people might be wondering why we've deployed a smoke trap in the canal feeder lade. And that is because the canal feeder lade doesn't have a screen. So basically, up here, there is nothing stopping adult fish, smolts, salmon smolts, sea trout smolts, getting thrown into the canal lade, just here. Now, the Union Canal, it was built back in the 1800s, spans Edinburgh to Falkirk, and this lade is the main feeder lade for the canal, so this is where the majority of the water comes from. Now, since probably about 2013, we've been raising this as a concern to us. Um, it's even more of a concern now because of all the river restoration work that's going on in the Ammon to ease barriers um, to fish migration, so all of the fish passes that have been built, encouraging more salmon and sea trout into the river. And basically, we need to try and preserve those salmon. Those salmon, they're few and far between, and if they're getting up into the spawning grounds, and then when the smokes are coming back down the river, getting drawn into this lade, then that's potential, potentially catastrophic for salmon within the almonds. If the smokes get drawn into the lade, there's no way out for them. They'll follow the flow of the water. They like to flo float downstream with the flow of water because they think that it's going to be carrying them out to sea. But what they don't realise is obviously once they're in the canal lade, that's them stuck. You know, they'll get down to, to Bird's Mill where the, the canal lade enters the canal and they, they'll have no way out. And that's a lost generation. So it's important that we try and protect them. For the last nine years, we've been campaigning um, alongside the 4th District Salmon Fishery Board, trying to get SEPA to enforce the, the regulations here. They've got the regulations, it shouldn't have taken nine years to, to enforce them. Um, it should have just been so simple for them to, to say, right, you need a screen here, Scottish canals, get it done. But for some reason, um, we, we just haven't been able to get SEPA to do that. It took the 4th District Salmon Fishery Board um, to get the police involved. The police have been absolutely fantastic, the wildlife crime officers here, and uh, they highlighted the issue to SEPA, highlighted the issue to Scottish Canals, and that spurred um, Scottish Canals to implement a temporary solution until a permanent solution could be implemented. So for the next couple of months, until probably about mid-May, end, end of May, um, Trust staff will be coming down to check the smoke trap, check to see what smolts are in there, what fish are in there, um, and we'll be taking them out and putting them back into the main river so that they can continue their journey, grow up to be adults, and then come back and start the whole process over again. And that's all going to happen while Scotch Canals figure out what the best solution here is to protect smolts and adult fish. They'll be working with consultants to try and figure out what screens can be put in place here um, that mean that the canal feeder lade can still operate so that it doesn't impede it you know they, they still need water to top the canal up um, so they'll be looking for the best solution here and it's really good that they've put a temporary solution in now but you know it shouldn't have taken this long to get this actioned um, it, it should have just happened and SEPA should have been more on the ball with uh, regulation here, you know, so it's really good that, that something's now happening, you know, really positive, positive for the protection of our salmon. Wild Atlantic salmon, you know, across Scotland, it, it, it's in crisis, um, the numbers are getting fewer and fewer, so it's important that we do everything that we can to protect Atlantic salmon, and campaigning on issues like this is something that the board and the trusts always try and do um, with the limited resources that we've got. So over the next couple of uh, weeks and, and months, we'll, we'll keep everybody updated on how we're getting on with the, the smoke trapping down here. Um, so keep 
keep tuned to our uh, social media channels and see how we get on. Okay, bye now.